<laughs> Welcome to Traveling Young, and this is part two of our van road trip through Ireland. <laughs> We're the Youngs. We've spent our lives traveling the world. And in 2018, we moved from Chicago, Illinois, to Copenhagen, Denmark. Now we want to share with you how our new lives abroad is keeping us young. Keeping us young. Are helping to keep us young. Hello, and welcome to Traveling Young. Last week, you saw part one of our van tour, daddy daughter trip through Ireland. And this week is part two. Yes, if you didn't see part one, check it out. There'll be a yeah. link somewhere above Floating below. Above uh, us. Somewhere will be a link where you can see where we saw. But now part two. And it's going to be two days in Killarney. Then we're going to show a nice little tour of the van itself. Mm -hmm. We're going to go to Boonradi Castle. Then we're going to go to Cliffs of Moher. And then we're going to wrap things up in Galloway and see if Maya finally gets her stew. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. That's a good... You can wait for that. And I need to quickly thank the folks at Tourism Ireland because it was funny. What happened was, you know, I was doing a bunch of research because we'd already booked our flights. We'd already booked our camper van and I'd been just researching things to do. And of course, um, I was getting a bunch of ads for Tourism Ireland in mm -hmm. order to prompt me to go to Ireland. <laughs> so I emailed them and said, hey, can you help us understand the best path to do? You best know, things to see. Best things to see. I got a camper van. I got seven days. And they were kind enough to help me build an itinerary to make sure we saw the highlights, which is what we're bringing to you. Yes. So thank you, everybody, for helping us there. We talked to a couple of folks that helped us construct the perfect yes. seven-day van adventure through Ireland. And it was definitely perfect. It was. So thank you for your help, Tourism uh, Ireland. And definitely check out, they have a lot of really good content uh, oh, yeah. on their website and they helped us with this. So, but with this is where we said? start. <laughs> yes, with that being said, we start <laughs> in Killarney. And I, oh, last thing I'll say is they recommended two days in Killarney. They were right. Yes, and for we, sure. We started it at Falconry Carry. Ooh, I know you guys have been waiting for this one. This was the coolest thing. Liam was so nice. So cool, and you're about to see it. So let's yes. just go for it. Let's go here check go. out the Falcons as we start the second part of our adventure through Ireland. Yes, here you go. So mm -hmm. up until now, I was flying him with a tether attached to him so he couldn't fly away. Now I just have a tracker on him, and we'll just see if he'll fly to your hand. So I might, we'll give you a piece of chicken here, a little chicken leg, and just hold his logo. Hey. <laughs> so, like years ago, falconry was all about hunting. Even still, like most falconers, there's about 500 falconers in Ireland who are licensed and they usually are all guys that keep one hawk and go hunting with yeah. um, <laughs> most most of them so here we go but these days hey for most people falconry is just a hobby and there are a few girls as lucky as me and are able to make a living from it <laughs> She thinks she has caught herself a rabbit here and what she does is she puts her wings out over the, the rabbit and she forms what's called a mantle so she's mantling over the rabbit and you'll notice that she's caught what is meant to be the head mm -hmm. in her talons and what she's waiting for she knows this isn't real so she's waiting for me to make a trade now it's very easy to trade this because it's not real so I just toss some food over there Mm. and she releases the rabbit and you can take it away so if you look you can see around where the head is all these talon marks yeah and that's exactly what she'd do if she was hunting in the wild she'd catch it by the head and the neck mm.
are you liking this so far? It's pretty good. We've seen an owl, two yeah, owls. Two owls, two, two hawks. hawks. Now we're seeing another owl, I believe. Another owl is coming our way. Yes, I'm very excited. Very neat, that last one was so huge. He when it was flying at my, it was like oh. staring at me, it was kind of freaky. Oh, look at this little owl. He's so big, oh my goodness. It's like a little baby. This little fella doesn't always cooperate with us. He's, he's a native Irish barn owl. And if you were to see an owl in the wild in Ireland, it would probably be one of these. So tiny compared to the other one. Yeah. Um, this is as big as they grow. He does. His name is Puka. Puka. And Puka is an Irish word that means ghost. And uh, the reason I called him ghost was years ago in Irish history, they had um, kind of a, a bad, bad reputation, I suppose. If you've ever heard of a banshee, you ever mm -hmm. heard of a banshee? So it was kind of a, a witch. And if a person was to hear the banshee screaming or crying, the story was that they would die or else somebody that they knew was going to die. And they think that a lot of these screams were actually barn owls screaming. So barn owls don't hoot, they can only scream. And in Ireland, we have three types of owls. None of those can hoot, they only scream. So a lot of Irish people will say to me, they heard an owl hooting in the garden last night, but in reality it was a pigeon. It wasn't an owl. At all. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to tell them that, you know, ruin their their whole idea of their owl. Um, so we'll see if Puka jumps here. Yeah. Okay, okay, she will. Immediately. Yeah. doing Maya? Pretty good. So we are now next to Ross Castle. We are. Right here and it's uh on this lake that basically is in the middle yeah. of Cary. And I wish you could see, I don't know if you can see these very nice mountains over here. Yeah, looks pretty cool. Yeah. And we had our adventure this morning with the uh falcon we did owls mm -hmm. hawks that was really cool that was super cool yeah then we had lunch we in did. the van mm -hmm. now we're checking this joint out yes we are the rain seems to be holding off yeah it's kind of marinating over there by the mountain yeah we'll you see, see what it's, it's pretty clear over here and then very dark just right there yeah the it's mountain. pretty blue this way yeah hopefully it'll stay over there but yeah. All right, you ready to walk and explore? Yes. Today we're at Muckross Abbey. We are, and it's another roofless, roofless place. So it should be one of your favorites. I'm a fan of the roofless. Yeah. We're <laughs> currently walking through a little cemetery here just outside the abbey. And it's actually a wonderful day today. Yeah, but here's the abbey. Here it is. And it is a gorgeous day today. It is. And we're actually, so here's the cemetery. It is. You can kind of see in the distance maybe some water because there's this lake that basically surrounds this whole area hey back to you hello all right well let's check out the roofless abbey roofless roofless <laughs> said this was creepy I did say it was a little bit creepy is it because there's this huge tree growing right in the middle of it that doesn't really help the you know scariness of this room 
definitely a little creepy, I don't know. And it just looks so like abandoned. And these hallways are a little spooky too. Like if you look down and everything. Hold on. Yeah. Yeah. And look at this little hole here. There's definitely ghosts in there. Or there's barn owls that make ghost sounds as oh, we learned yeah. yesterday. Maybe there's barn owls in there. <laughs> but this tree thing is just insane. It is. Yeah. found a doorway that's exactly your height. Yeah, everyone keeps saying how short Irish people were that lived in these houses, but I think they're all just my size. Yeah? Yeah, I think I could definitely live here. I mean, everything is just the perfect height for me. <laughs> Yes, this is it. This is the van. This is. The chair doesn't stay like this all the time. No. It but, does face the road. But when you're sitting... Yeah, we have this nice little table for when we're sitting, having some dinner. I can spin the chair around and we can sit together. But then we look up here There's a little and we have our first there. opportunity at storage. Yeah. Where we've been keeping special things and clothes. Yeah. I think your, you know, computers and stuff are up there, everything. Yeah. Yeah, and then here we go to our little table. The table. I'm not really sure. I feel like this wasn't like this at the beginning, but we got a little. This table is a little bouncy sometimes. <laughs> it's nice though. And we got more storage up here. Yeah, we do. That's true. We've been keeping our, keeping our like toiletries, toiletries and stuff and up there. In there. Yeah. And raincoats and totes. Raincoats, yeah. I've just been wearing my raincoat. It's so cold. Mine is like fleece lined. Yeah. I've been so cold, I'm just wearing it all the time. And here's where our, all our snacks are. We've snacks. Lots of snacks. Yeah. Lots of things to snack on. We and there's like yeah. random hidden things like this I found. Yeah, that is quite Where I kept strange. a book. And by the way, this is the not really functioning heating control. Yeah, it's been a little cold. And where you can, uh, oh look, the batteries, the battery, the starting to die. Uh-oh. That's okay, we're about to leave today. And then uh, this is where our plates are supposed to be, but we have all of our clothes in there. Yeah, we've decided to be lazy and uh, just keep the thing. <laughs> if we were here another couple days, I think we'd take only the plates we need out of these bins. And then just put it in the back. And then put something. it in the back, but instead we've just been... It's just on the floor somewhere. On the floor, moving it around everywhere. Yeah, <laughs> like you go. can even open the bathroom. You can open it You can open it this this much because of this box here. Yeah. But here, I'll turn the light on. You can see our little bathroom in here. Yeah, and... I um, don't really use it much. Yeah, I, we've used it. I've used it for number one facilities, and that's a... That's all I would trust it for. Um, that's and changing. Just, yeah, that, that's what I use it for. And I do my makeup in there sometimes. We have a little fridge as well. Yeah. I don't know if you can see this. We have a little fridge. Yeah. It's very cute. Snacks in the fridge. Snacks in the fridge. That's actually the best part. The fridge. The fridge is nice. And the fact that we can quickly make like a lunch. Yeah, that's quite nice. It's super cool. Yeah. Okay, let's switch now so I can... Okay, yeah. This is the bed situation. There it is. It's bunks. So yeah. Maya's up here on the top. I'm on top. Yeah, she's got tons of room with her own skylight. I do. Which and then really loud. it's dark, but I'm down here on the bottom here, and I sit here. Yeah, you you sit there. When we eat and watch season three of you. Yeah, we've been right watching there you. And eat dinner or whatever. Or whatever. Yeah, we've been kind of going between having dinner slash lunch in the van and then going to actual actual places. Yeah, we tried to mix it up. Yeah. And this would be nice in the summer because there's actually screens on all these windows. Yeah, that you can, that you can open the windows. Yeah. Even this has a screen. Yeah. All right. That's the van tour. That's the van. Pretty cool. Yeah. Hope you hope you enjoyed our little van life here. It's quite cozy. Actually, here's a quick view of the outside. Oh, yeah. 
We started today here in Bunrati Castle and Folk Park. We're walking around and this is almost like the Gamlebu of Ireland, if you've ever been there in Aarhus. It's uh, all these nice old looking buildings here and they're all decked out for Halloween as well. Wanna see this know. one? Oh yeah, let's see. Oh, you can go inside. Oh look, here's a Halloween. Yeah, here's the Halloween stuff because Halloween actually comes from Ireland. So we're in the origin place of Halloween. And it's just uh, like a couple weeks away from now. It is. We're here during week 42 for the Danes we out are. there. So it's actually in almost <laughs> a week now. Yeah. <clears throat> Let's see. Oh, there's one of these things. This is like, they used to make, I actually know this, they used to make jack-o'-lanterns out of melons. And so this is a jack-o'-lantern made out of a melon. Oh. Huh. There doesn't seem to be too many people here. I think it's a mix of... No, this is a family unit or two people. It's very dark. I feel like... It is very dark. We'll see. It may not be much of... I don't know huh, if you can, can see kind of see stuff. Okay. There's a photo of Jesus. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's Irish Catholic. Some old Irish, like, China almost. Yeah. And the bedroom. A little, here's a little bedroom. It's very cute. But from the outside, yeah, this even resembles, like, you know. Kind of <laughs> colonial. It actually got the thatched roof yeah, here. Yeah, the roof is almost a little bit Danish. A little Scandinavian. Yeah. So there's like a ton of these types of buildings that yeah. we're going to walk around and see. Yeah. And there's a castle. There is a castle. And there's animals. It's not roofless. Sorry, Dad. It's not. There those are room. only the abbeys, I think. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's uh, animal park. So let's go. Oh, animal park. There's animals there's here. There's animals. So let's <gasps> see what we can see. Yeah. I wonder if there's a cow here. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> we'll find out. A lot of stairs and with a mask. Oh yeah, it makes it, doesn't it harder help much. to recover from the breathing. Yeah, does not help definitely. So I'm doing a lot of panting here. Yeah, but, but we're, we're at the top now. We are. Well, this is the. I mean, the top that we are allowed to go to. Yeah. There is more. There's but more. We cannot. And this is the apartment, I guess. Uh, yeah. I think little... they said. Here's a. Private chapel for the Earl. Interesting. Inside of there. Yeah. And this very spooky painting here. The spooky painting. Of a man. This is a really cool. It is very cool. You can see like the engrave engravement. You know the detail. Yeah. So, what did you think of the castle? I thought it was pretty cool. I thought it actually looked a lot like the last castle we were at, but you didn't get to see that one. So, I'm glad you got to see the inside of this one. Yeah, and this was a bit more decorated, I think, than I Ross anyway. It was more decorated, and I feel like it felt more like homey, a little more lived in and less museum-like. Yeah. Like, it felt like how it probably would have looked when someone actually lived there. Yeah, it was pretty neat, and I guess because of COVID, they let so few people in that we were basically in there by ourselves. Yeah, I didn't even see anybody else. So it was nice to wander through the rooms and not have to worry about it was other nice. people. But I and mean, we didn't have to go to the top, so I'm sure you're yeah, happy about that. Yeah, I didn't that. want. Well, it looks like the top is covered basically anyway. Oh yeah, I see that. Yeah. But you'd be a little scared. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's check out more of the Dingamlabu of uh, Ireland and see Ireland, what else yeah. we find. <laughs> Cows! 
They're out there in the distance. Eating grass. I'm so excited I found cows. There are so many cows in Ireland, but I, I'm just, they're right there. I want to pet them so bad. You've seen a lot of cows though, driving on the roads. Oh yeah, there's lots of cows in Ireland and I just want to stop and pet all of them. Well, we can confirm that the Boonradi house and folk yeah, has farm cows. place has cows. They have cows. They're Look just at them over there. They're over there. Out. See how that's about as good I can do to get us as close to the cows. <laughs> You can see the cows. Yeah, they're there. So Maya. Hello. We made it to the Cliffs of Moore and what did you find? I found cows. Look at this one. I think this is probably the closest I've ever been to a cow, honestly. You've pet a cow before. Have I? I'm sure of it. But, but look, right behind you is the cliffs. Yes. Yeah. There they are. And there's some more over there. And there's a cow saying hi. Hey, cow. <laughs> so you're more impressed with the cow than well, the cliff at the moment? we haven't seen the cliff yet. Okay. We haven't been up there. So Whoa. far, I'm just getting a view of this cow, which I won't complain. He's just munching. Here's the cows in the way in yeah. the background. They're hanging out. The cliffs in the background. Yeah, there they are. Those aren't the ones that we'll be at though. Well, we'll see it. We will. Well, let's go do that. Let's go do that. Bye, cow. Bye, cow. And look at this view. Yeah. I mean, can't beat that. It's gorgeous. It is. How do you like it up here? I love it. This is one of the reasons why you wanted to come here, right? Yeah, it is. I believe this was on my PowerPoint presentation on why we should come to Ireland. <laughs> and cart. you get a golf cart. Yeah, a golf cart. And this castle thing is a reward for the yeah. trip up top. I said it looked like a little sand castle. Yeah, this is uh this is very cool. The first time I came here cuz I've been here before. Friday fact, I've been to Ireland <laughs> and I came to the Cliffs of Moher, but I was with the tour group. There were so many people. This is my first time. I've never been here. But here it's just basically a couple people. Yeah, well, I mean, you also went a few years ago and now with corona and stuff, I'm sure tourism is a little down, yeah. a little low. Well, let's uh, walk around to that side because maybe there we can get some pictures without a ton of sun. Sun, yeah. It's very scenic over here, though. I when we first got here, I said it looked like the the windows opening screen a little bit. It is very scenic. <laughs> see yeah up on that side but oh but yeah down's better than up for sure it's a bit of a workout it is definitely a bit of a workout but i feel like we need it after all of our we've just been sitting in a van yeah uh, well we only drove an hour today after the yeah Bunradi. but we don't have to walk as much on this trip since we're living in our home or driving in our house i think we walked a bit in Dublin, we walked. Oh my ton. goodness, we walked like six miles, which <laughs> I don't even know what that is in kilometers. But we walked quite a long time. This is a super cool background seeing you. Yeah, it is. Behind you while <laughs> walking down With these, these stairs. With these cliffs here. Well, uh, it's very, it's very cool to look at. Get out of my shadow. Sorry, sorry. You're always in my shadow. <laughs> Still a little out of breath. Yeah, there were some stairs. Some we had, stairs. We had to walk up a hill here. And look how long my legs are. I mean, it's a lot of work. Yeah. Getting I mean, these long legs up steps. Yeah, think about how I feel. Every one of your steps is like three of my steps. <laughs> We've but made, we made it, it to the other side of the cliff. 
Look at that. With another nice view here. I've been saying ever since we got here that I really want to touch this grass because it looks so nice. Like, I just want to lay on it and take a nap. Unfortunately, <laughs> that is not possible. Not advisable? No, not advisable. <laughs> and in the uh, center, conference center, there were pictures of people on this flat part. Yeah, right With there. the table, eating lunch. Having some tea. Having some tea. Yeah, that's probably also not advisable anymore. Yeah, they put up barriers and signs. Yeah, probably, probably don't say, do don't that. Don't do that. Yeah. But this is crazy. There's like nobody here. Yeah, I know. I mean, I can't even imagine what it's like when, you know, without Corona and in high tourism season. Let's zoom into this. Look at that. What are you looking at? Oh, just this rock with. With this mossy stuff on it? No, the waves oh. coming in on oh, that rock yeah. in the distance. The thing just kind of sticking up. Yeah, I see. All the waves seem to be collecting over there. It's just kind of standing there. No birds, though, today. No, I haven't seen any puffins. I'm no, a little bit disappointed by no that. No people or birds. No, no people or birds. But we do have cows, so. We have cows. I guess that's good. <laughs> which seem to have gone somewhere. Yeah, they've kind basically, of disappeared. They're over here. Oh, there so they are now. They're kind of walking away. Yeah, they're they're like, get away from me. I don't want you anymore. I already saw Maya, so I No have... point sticking around? Yeah, exactly. I Look at in the my... distance, too. Well, I can see our camper van from here. Yeah, I'm also starting to feel... Oh, I don't know if... You, there's a huge rainbow here. I don't know if you'll be able oh, to catch goodness. that. There's oh, a huge rainbow there. I can't zoom... Uh, can you see it at all? I think I can't. Uh, I probably. Well, if I can't get the I'll, whole thing, I'll I'm going to... I'll take a picture. No, I can, can see it. Oh, look okay. at that. That's almost like a full rainbow here. Wow. Oh, that's, this is the land of rainbows. I know. Maybe this is a sign of luck that we'll get our Guinness, Guinness stew. Guinness stew? Yeah. <laughs> Gorgeous. All right, well, let's check things out and get out of here. Yeah, let's go. That was the journey. That was all the all the places that yeah. we went to. I know we kind of threw it all at you. Uh, we did. But... We threw it all at you from <laughs> falcons to castles to abbeys to a yeah. um, couple interesting points that I want to make that Ross Castle, we couldn't take video inside. We mentioned that a, few, a couple times if you caught it. It was a bummer that we couldn't, um, but it is what it is. But we got a bunch of stuff inside Boonradi Castle, which was really cool looking. Yeah. Um, and uh, another thing is we went to Galway, actually. Galway. I can't Galway. say it right. On our last day. And um, it was not the best weather. So I don't have a ton of video from that. No. Um, and it was also hard to find parking because this camper van can't go in garages. Yeah. And, and it's also like wide. It's yeah. wide and tall. Yeah. So. so it was funny. We parked in a parking lot of a hospital. Yeah. There um, were other parking spaces there for other people to work. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, but it was like the only place we could find that we could have a surface lot to yeah. park this this tall, wide um, camper van. Um, but Maya finally found her stew. That was I our did. that was our mission while we were there. It was so good. It was actually not the original stew I was looking for, but this lamb stew was so good. Yeah, it was a really cool restaurant. Actually, it was. I had a steak. Um, <laughs> And, uh, and then we also, what was kind of a random thing that happened there is there were these people, because the weather was so crazy and windy, and I don't know how the current typically is in the water and the river there, but it was ridiculously strong. Yeah. And so these people were, um, you know, rescue folks were like practicing rescuing each other mm -hmm. if somebody were to fall in the water yeah. and start moving downstream. How yeah. do they throw out a thing and catch them and stuff? But we ended up spending like 20 minutes watching that. It was kind of <laughs> interesting because the first like 10 minutes were like, are they going to go in there? Are they going to go in there? Yeah, what and are then they doing? At some point I was standing inside, you see some guy like floating by. <laughs> yeah, a little dot. And we're like, that's, it's actually happening. It's a person. <laughs> yeah. So that was an interesting thing that we happened to see while we were in Galway. Um, but after that, we stayed the night actually halfway between there and Ir and uh, Dublin mm -hmm. and then we drove back the next day and dropped we the did. camper off and flew back home here yeah. in Copenhagen and we're back. We've been back a few weeks now. Yeah. That was week 42. Uh, as you saw, it was before Halloween because there was Halloween decorations oh, yeah. and stuff there. <laughs> All right. Well, um, we hope you enjoyed it. Thanks yeah. for coming on the journey with yes, us. Thank you very much. And part of why we do these kinds of videos is it actually is something we're going to love looking back on ourselves yeah. to remember the trip that we took. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, there you go. So let's, we'll see what's up in store next Friday and next Tuesday. Yeah. But for now, we're just going to say goodbye. <laughs>